I know, I know, this is an Apple-centric channel. Why are we looking at another Android phone? And honestly, it's because there's one specific feature about this phone that I actually find really, really cool. Now, this is the Oppo Find X3 Pro, and it has a three megapixel micro lens, which might not sound that cool at all, but, what if I told you that this micro lens has 60X magnification and a ring light around it? Yeah, now we're looking at a full blown microscopic camera and the images that you're able to capture with this thing are just incredible. And again, I know what the comments are going to look like. Why does anyone need this? Who really cares? Well, if you're watching tech videos on YouTube, then you kind of care remotely about the advancements in technology. And so these things should be exciting to you. I personally can't really think of any logical reasons why anyone would go out and buy a phone specifically for this feature or why anyone would need it, but it's still a really cool feature to play around with on top of an awesome phone for, you know, just everyday use. You can call it a gimmick if you want to, and I'll probably agree with you, but at least it's a really, really well done gimmick and not something that sounds ridiculous and then when you use it, it's not very good. And oh, by the way, like I mentioned, this phone is really, really good. It's a really good Android device. It's top tier flagship, very reminiscent of OnePlus devices. And I do believe these two companies have some sort of ties together. And so it makes sense that they borrow each other's design elements and features. All right, so let's go back to the camera. I had a lot of fun playing around with this microscope, quote unquote, that I was literally just going around and taking pictures of everything I could, trying to get everything under that microscope lens. And I even took a picture of my wife's hair. Yes, she said it was okay even though she didn't really want to do it, but haired follicles just look really cool under a microscope, and this is really, really fun to play around with. I cannot stress that enough. Oh, and also, I'm aware that this isn't a true microscope, but I am just going to keep calling it that. It just makes it easier. That's kind of what they're advertising it as. Um, and the pictures are cool, and they look as if you put something under a microscope. I will say you have to have some really steady hands when you are using this lens. It might be worth maybe putting your phone on a mini tripod and then bringing the subject closer to the phone. That way, instead of trying to hold your phone over objects like I've been doing, because it can get kind of tough to get everything in focus, but when you do get things in focus, the outcome is incredible. Now, as far as the rest of this camera system goes, for those curious, it's not bad. There is a 50 megapixel ultra wide angle camera at f2.2. There's a 50 megapixel wide angle lens at f1.8 and a 13 megapixel telephoto camera at f2.4. And those specs certainly scream, why are you saying that those aren't bad? That sounds pretty good. And yeah, I mean, they're flagship quality cameras for sure. But I don't know, I feel like at this point when we're comparing cameras one-to-one, -one, the differences are so minimal. It's really just gonna come down to preference. But if you really wanna see a uh, comparison between the Oppo Find X3 Pro camera system and the iPhone 12 Pro Max, let me know in those, cam uh, in those comments down below. But uh, overall, I think the pictures that I got were great. They are certainly going to be perfectly fine for whoever might be thinking of getting this phone but it's just a camera system. It's not nearly as fun as playing with that microscope lens. Now, the rest of the phone is also really good. When it comes to Android flagship devices, I personally love this design more than most of the ones that I'm seeing out there. Although I am not a fan of this color, it is a very glossy fingerprint magnet back panel. There is a more matte version out there if you're into that kind of thing, but this is the one that we have right now. And I do love that it embraces and encompasses the entire back cameras. It's very sleek looking and almost kind of blends in. It's just all one piece. And the display is probably hands down the best, if not the best displays that I have seen on a smartphone to date. I mean, it's just, wow, very vibrant, very similar to Samsung panels, which I think were ahead of the pack for me mostly up until I started using this phone for sure. Performance is also top tier. It's the latest Snapdragon 888 processor. It's got 5G. As far as operating system goes, obviously it's running Android, but it's got a specific skin on it called ColorOS. And back in the day, ColorOS was ridiculous looking. And now it sort of reminds me of what Oxygen OS looks like from the OnePlus, which is more of a stripped down, non-bloated, 
but with more customization features than like a vanilla Android type thing. I actually think I prefer this uh, Android skin over pretty much anything out there right now. I like the look and feel, and again, it's not super bloated, and if there's things that you want to change, there are tons of different customization options available to change whatever you might want. But there are two big cons at the moment. The phone does not seem to be available in the US, or at least not easily. You can always import it, and I think they have some listings on Amazon, or you can find it in other third-party websites that will ship to the US, and it will work in the US, it's just not gonna be able to be found at a Verizon or a T-Mobile store. But the price, can it be anywhere from around 1300 to 1500 uh, if this phone was around 999, somewhere around there, I think it could be by far my flagship recommendation, also assuming that it was easy to buy. But since it's a bit hard to get and the price range is that of a maxed out Samsung flagship or you know a maxed out iPhone 12 Pro Max, it might be hard for me to recommend for those reasons. And obviously, if you're watching this video, you're probably an Apple fan, but we really just wanted to talk about that micro lens and it's really, really cool. But of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything that I just talked about with this phone and obviously that really cool microscope camera in the comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.